Now we will discuss about the anatomy of the pectoral region. In this region, you have seen in previous lectures anatomy of breast. Now, today we will discuss about the muscles of this pectoral region. Here is Manubrium. Here is position of clavicle. This is clavicle, this is this is first rib, this is first rib, this is castal cartilage of the first rib, here is second rib, this is third rib. This is fourth rib, this is fifth rib, this is sixth rib, this is seventh rib, here is eighth rib, seventh. This is eighth rib, here is ninth rib, this is tenth rib, here are eleventh and twelfth rib. Then eleventh and twelfth rib are floating ribs. Eleventh and twelfth rib. So we are first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th ribs. We are 11th and 12th ribs. This is manubrium. This is sternum. Here is position of Scapula. Here is position of scapula. This is a chromium process. This is coracoid process of the scapula. This is greater tubercle. This is lesser tubercle. This is biceptal groove. This is lateral lip of the biceptal groove. Here is this is first rib. This is costal cartilage of the first rib. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Costal cartilage. These are ribs. So in pectoral region, there are basically three muscles are included in uh, pectoral region. These are Subclavius. First is subclavius. Below the clavicle, subclavius muscle takes origin from this is first rib, first rib and costal cartilage, first costal cartilage here. And it is inserted on an inferior side of middle one third of the clavicle. So this is Subclavius muscle. 
in the clavicle. Here is a groove is present on the inferior side. This is subclavian groove. So it is inserted on subclavian groove of the clavicle. So this is subclavius muscle. This is subclavius muscle. This subclavius muscle stabilizes the, uh, the clavicle during movement at shoulder joint. It fixes the clavicle. Nerve supply of subclavius is rise from upper trunk. Nerve to subclavius is a branch of upper trunk of the brachial plexus. So, Another muscle, another muscle is pectoris minor. This is first rib, this is second and this is third. This is fourth, this is fifth. So this pectoris minor muscle arises from third, fourth and fifth rib near the costochondral junction. Here. And inserted, this pectoris minor takes origin from here and inserted on this is medial border and superior surface of the coracoid process. This is coracoid process of the scapula, so it is inserted here from here. This is site of insertion of this muscle. So this muscle takes origin from third, fourth, and fifth rib near the costal cartilage and inserted on this. So this is this is muscle origin point. This is insertion point. Inserted on the coracoid process, medial border, and superior surface of the coracoid process. Action. It pulls the scapula, it stabilizes the scapula and it also helps in the deep inspiration. So this is pectoris minor muscle. Nerve supply of the pectoris minor is by lateral pectoral which is a branch of lateral cord and also medial pectoral which is a branch of medial cord. It is supplied by both nerves, lateral and medial pectoral nerve. This is pectoris minor. Pectoralis minor. And the muscle that is pectoris major. Pectoris major takes origin from anterior surface of medial half of the clavicle from here to here. It also takes origin from lateral half of anterior surface of the minubrium sternae up to sixth costal cartilage here and also takes origin from costal cartilage of second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth here. So this part is clavicular part, this is clavicular part. And this part is costosternal part. Costo means cartilage, costosternal part. So these are the points of the origin. Of this. And it also arises from here is aponeurosis. External oblique aponeurosis. This is external oblique aponeurosis.
So it also takes origin from this. So this pectoral is major, the flat muscle. It covers this, and insertion is here on the lateral lip of the bicepital groove here. So this is clavicular fibers. These are clavicular fibers. Here are sternocostal fibers. From here is costal fi fibers, and this is sternal fibers. And here is fibers arise from aponeurosis. Here, insertion is bilaminar like this. They inserted in form of two lamina. This is bilaminar insertion. Here is anterior lamina and posterior lamina. This is anterior lamina, this is posterior lamina. In anterior lamina, especially these upper fibers are inserted. These fibers, clavicular and upper costo, uh, costo external fibers are inserted here. And the lower fibers are inserted with this deep. And here the fibers arise from lower part and uh, from external oblique aponeurosis. These fibers here turns upward and inserted on deep labina in upper part. Here lowermost fibers inserted on uppermost or highest part of the deep lamina. So insertion is like this. Action of this, these fibers, that means clavicular fibers, it flex at the shoulder joint and these fibers from here to here, these are medial rotator, medial rotator and adductor. These action of these are medial rotation and adduction. Action of the upper fibers, these are flexion. This is flexion and also the lower fibers also cause extension against resistance. If here a force is applied, then try to extend like this. So these muscles help in extension against the resistance. Nerve supply of the this pectoris major muscle is by lateral and medial pectoral nerve. Lateral pectoral nerve is a branch of lateral cord. Medial pectoral nerve is a branch of medial cord. Another muscle is also included in this group. Though it lies on lateral aspect, that is serratus anterior. Here you can see serratus anterior. Here is lateral view of the sternum. This is lateral view of the sternum. Here is position of first rib, this is second rib, here is third, this is fourth, this is fifth, this is sixth, here is seventh. Here is 8th, here is 9th, this is 10th and 11th, 11th, 12th. This is lateral view. And here is position of, here is position of scapula. This is scapula, this is costal surface of the scapula and DA surface and this is medial border of the costal surface of the scapula. So in this diagram, the scapula and this chest wall is separated. Actual position is the scapula lies here, closely related to this, like this. 
and in this diagram, this scapula is slightly rotated lateral side. Sectus anterior muscle. Sectus anterior muscle takes origin from a digitations. Is Osteochondral junction. So it arises from first digitations, arise from here and here. This is inserted on superior angle, near the superior angle on the costal surface. So this is first digitation. Here is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth ring. This is first digitation. Here is second and third digitation. It arises from the origin point is rib and Fascia covering the intercostal muscles. Here lies fascia. It also gives origin to these fibers. This is inserted on here. These are two digitations, second and third digitation. It extends up to here. From here to here. Here is First, second, this is third digitation. Here is fourth digitation. This is fourth. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. We have five digitations. Sometimes it may be four digitations, four or five digitations inserted on the inferior angle of the costal surface of the scapula. So this is serratus anterior which takes origin from the ribs, first to eight ribs and Fascia covering the intercostal muscles and inserted on the costal surface of the medial border of the scapula. Here upper digitation, one or two digitation, here two or three digitations, here four or five digitations attached. Nerve supply is Long thoracic nerve of bell. Nerve to stratus anterior or long thoracic nerve of bell. Action. Action. It is protractor. This is medial border. It protracts the scapula. And it also helps in the pushing and punching action. Pushing and punching action. So this is also known as boxer's muscle. So this is a boxer's muscle. In case of injury of this long thoracic nerve of bell, the patient cannot push the wall. If try to push the wall, the medial border of this becomes raised. So this is known as winging of scapula. The condition is known as winging of scapula. These are muscles present in the pectoral region. Thank you.